What's going on, y'all? Man, it's LA Rich, and we back with another vid, man. And look, today we got a crazy vid coming, man. I'm already saying right now, you feel me? I know this vid gonna be crazy as hell. We got. Yeah, hey, hold on, y'all. You wait. Oh, oh shit, that's my bad, y'all. Look, we got Eric Cartman moments, South Park. Now look, Eric Cartman funny moments. If that's that's what I think the title should say instead, but they got it saying Eric Cartman moments. Funny moments, South Park in addition. Now, we all know that this dude is crazy as hell. And I found out about that even more in the last video I had did reacting to him. Now, y'all make sure to go check out that vid, man. But this dude wild, and I already know some wild shit is about to be said in this video. Um, ain't no telling what it's going to be about. It's really no telling because the degree of shit that they allow on this show is actually crazy to me, man. I did not know South Park was this wild. I did watch it growing up, but... Not as not crazy amount. Like it will be on some, it will be randomly on, and I watch it. It was it wasn't no I'd be anticipating on watching it every night or something like that. It would just be when it's randomly on, or I might click on it or something like that. But um, now after seeing it, bro, this show is funny and crazy as hell, man. On some real shit. But we gonna go ahead and get into this video. Before I do, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for all the love and support I've been receiving. We have officially hit eight thousand subscribers, man. Eight thousand. All I got to say is, bro, y'all truly mean the most to me, man. I mean, hitting 8,000, bro, um, it's crazy, bro. Like, look how many fingers I have left till we get the big one. We only got two more fingers left till we get that big one, man. And I just want to tell y'all, man, none of this will be possible without y'all, bro. Real talk, just from the whole standpoint on YouTube in general. I started YouTube, I'll say, probably about two months or... Damn, I said two months. I mean, nine to, probably nine or ten now, or eight to nine months ago. And to be at this place I am already is wild to me, bro. Truly wild. So none of it will be possible without y'all, man, again. So I just want to give y'all a big thanks. You know, we're on the road to 8.1 now. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some videos to react to, whether it's South Park, any cartoon, any uh, TV show, whatever it is, bro. Just let me know in the comments, and I got y'all with it. But, hey, enough of the talking. Let's do it. Hey. Oh my god, isn't it awesome having an iPad, you guys? Hey, baby, where's your iPad? Oh, right, you're not cool enough. <laughs> hey, hey, you see my iPad token? It's funny, you don't seem to have one. I thought your family was rich. Ha <laughs> ha, you dumbasses have to play Foursquare because you don't have iPads. Oh, what should I do on my iPad next? I think I'll email some of my friends. Oh no, wait, maybe I'll download some more cool apps. This is so awesome. Tom Saltzman says you don't really have an iPad. What? Tom Saltzman says you just glued a piece of glass to an iPad cover and you're faking it. <laughs> Wait. I think I remember this one from the last video. This is when he had, um, his mama went by him an iPad and she got him to fake one or something. And I guess this is what he had did after all. <laughs> hey, that's a funny follow-up, bro. So he didn't glue the back of a... Man, I'm telling you, this, this dude funny, bro. Tom Saltzman says you just glued a piece of glass to an iPad cover, and you're faking it. Tom Saltzman's dad is an alcoholic who drinks and drives! What the fuck? Let me see your iPad, Cartman. Seriously, you guys! Tom Saltzman's dad is a drunk driver! He's the one who ran over Joey Potts' dog because Joey Potts doesn't know how to take care of his animals, which is why he gets beat by his mom! Just let us see your iPad, Cartman. No, because the battery's dead. It just ran out of power. You most certainly <laughs> are right now, mister. I will go to bed when this movie is over, ma'am. Eric, where did you get that? Turn off the light and go back to bed. I'm staying up. Eric, you march right up to your room. I don't think so, ma'am. Eric, you get your butt to bed. No means no, Bill Cosby. I told you huh? to go upstairs <laughs> oh, right now. Shit, bro. If he ran or shit like that, bro, that, like, what the hell was the point of throwing that in, bro? I said no, Bill Cosby. <laughs> hey, that shit, it's, it's funny, but it be so, they be so slight with it, bro. Like, just throw in a little, that's like a little splatter. So just throw in a little splatter. Like, a random sentence in the, in, the, um, in the whole show, bro. It's crazy. You get your butt to bed. No means no, Bill Cosby. I told you to go upstairs right now. Mama that's like this one time there. when I didn't like a kid, so I ground his parents up into chili and fed it to him. Hmm? You got it, man. You got it. See ya. Oh, you bet. I love all the stuff you said about how our school president never does anything and how she's changing everything. Yes, well, now you can read about all these things I've said, Butters. Take this copy of my book. Cool, thanks. That'll be $5.
Oh, okay. What the hell do you think you're doing? A book signing. I looked for your stupid book. It's 540 pages of ripping on Wendy and calling her a slut. Mm. I do not directly say she's a slut. Wendy Testaberger has proven time and time again that she will do anything to pleasure her vagina. Whether it is the school football team or the janitors on their break, Wendy spends her time as president on her knees or on her back taking the old in out for hours on end. You didn't read the rest, dude. Or does or she? Or does she? See, that's a question. I'm asking questions, then. I've called for Wendy to come on my show and defend herself, but she won't do it. Shouldn't we be worried if our school president is a girl who would rather get her tits licked than go to student council meetings? Oh, yeah. Going to Afghanistan? Trapped in a small space for 20 hours? How could things get any worse? Oh, oh you guys. Alexa, add Big Harry Boz to my shopping list. Okay, I've added Big Harry Balls to your shopping list. The crazy part about this is, bro, I actually feel like Alexa would do some shit like that, bro. <clears throat> you could tell Alexa the most random shit out there, bro. I genuinely feel like she would do it, bro. I, I mean, telling her, man, I think the girl, bro, one time I asked her to, I forgot what it was, man. I think turn on, do something, bro. And she, I was surprised as hell. She really did it. I know it was tell me a joke. And she did that, sat, told me a joke and started laughing and all at her own joke, bro. I was surprised. Um, ain't no way. Man, technology is getting crazy, bro. Uh, dude, that is not cool. Chopping off wee wee's is not cool. That can't be true. Dude, I asked five different people. They said all Jewish boys have circumcisions. You don't just chop off somebody's fire, man. <laughs> Yeah, right. You better get back to school, little boy. Mm. Oh! Get your ass to jail! Mm. Ow! Mm. Hey, what the hell are you doing? You can't do that! Mm. Ah, ah. Bring it on, Earnhardt, you scared of the competition? I'm just as poor and stupid as you. I'm gonna drive, and I'm gonna go fast, and I'm gonna turn to the left sometimes. Can we just get back to the subject of racing, please? Oh, bring it on, Danica, you dumb bitch. <laughs> now, the first thing to do in domestic disturbance calls, I guess, one is to calm everybody down. Respect my authority! <laughs> bro, why do you keep saying that, bro? Like, I could imagine some small ass dude. I mean, small the way he probably at your ankle in, in terms of height. Keep on coming up to you, telling you to respect his authority. First off, what the hell is an authority? Second off, who the hell is you, bro? <laughs> you feel me? Calm everybody down. Respect my authority! <laughs> oh. It's okay, Erica. You think you can have your ideas about how the nutrition should be somehow interfering with that? Eric, Eric! You dictate what foods I can eat to get... What the... Eric. What the hell is going on? Eric? Eric? I can't. I can't. But it's... I can't. Yeah, bro. No, this look disgusting. Man, I, I, ugh, bro. I can't even. This, uh, this damn near hard to look at, bro. Oh my God, no! This is disgust. <laughs> this, this episode is disgusting as hell. Ain't no way they really let this on TV, bro. I get some of the other shit. You feel me? They can say crazy shit, but this is where you actually seeing some crazy shit. I mean, uh, it's people, mamas out here that actually got to go through this, bro. This is what's, this is the most wild part about it. This ain't no just television shit. It's mamas out here that got to do this shit every day for their son, man. Son, daughter, whatever it is. Got to really be out here, I mean, helping them shit. And this is just nasty, bro. Why did I be rounded? What am I doing? Hold the hell on, bro. I'm sorry. Order. Excuse me. What would you like, sir? Can you wait? Isn't that your job? Aren't you a waiter? Hey, could you turn your phone down, kid? This is a restaurant. It just so happens I have anxiety. That means I have trouble being around assholes who won't leave me alone! <laughs> Oh, hello, Eric. Shut up, I have anxiety. Hey, kid! Hey, kid! I'm on my phone! You're about to get hit by a car! 
Alright, that's it! Everyone stop! Just stop right now! Listen up, people! I have anxiety! That means I'm in my shell and have a hard time expressing myself! I find it difficult to engage with others! So everyone, shut the f*** up, because my anxiety is up here right now! Hold on, hold on, so you, so you said you have anxiety, right? But you got the, you got the um, courage to sit in the middle of the street and call a whole public service announcement to everybody out there and tell them that you got anxiety and to leave you the fuck alone. I, I, I don't know if you got anxiety at that point, bro. I'll chant back. We're losing the Juden as rotten. What does that mean, dear? Oh, I think it's Aramaic. You know, like in the movie. Ooh, Aramaic, cool. Neato. Oh, right. What was our Aramaic line again? We're losing the Juden as rotten. We're losing the Juden as rotten. Es is right for right. We're losing the Juden as rotten. Oh, this is fun. All right, everyone. Forward, merch! No, 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 they can't keep doing this, they can't keep doing it. Who is he supposed to be right here? Who is he supposed to be? Lord, boy, I tell you, South Park get away with some crazy shit, man, really. I be, I really be sitting here thinking every day, how do they let this shit on TV? I think they still to this day on TV. How do they let it on TV, bro? They got to be doing some shit to these now. Whoever run the whole TV operation system, they got to be doing something to where they got a gun held to them or some shit saying, hey, you going to let me post these damn um, goddamn TV, these TV shows, um, episodes and all this on TV because ain't no way they just doing this shit um, without getting notified or nothing. I don't understand why you became a nanny. Me? Well, because I love children, like you. Right, but if you love children so much, how come you're not a mommy? Oh, I just never had kids. Why not? It just didn't happen. You're sterile, is that it? No, that's too convenient of an excuse. The truth is, nobody ever wanted to have babies with you. Isn't wow. that it? Always the mom's maid, never the mom? Must be hard on you. Knowing that the years are ticking away, your friends all getting married, and all the while your uterus slowly shriveling away, drying up. Wow. Totally worthless. Oh, you, you, you little bastard! How dare you, Eric Naughty? What kind of okay, monster? Okay, that took a damn dark turn, bro. Hey, <laughs> I knew it was. I knew it was heading towards that too. After she had said, uh, "No, I just um love kids, but I choose to have none." I knew the turn it was taking, bro. Bastard! How dare you! Eric Naughty. What kind of monster would Yes, you... let the anger come. Strike me down while you can. But it won't make your dread of ovaries any more fertile. That's it! <laughs> I'm not doing this! Oh, but we really need some help! Find yourself another nanny! <laughs> what? Bro. Eric, did you just take a crap on my desk? <laughs> I couldn't imagine no kid doing that. <laughs> imagine a kid, really, you in class or something, and and a kid just randomly go up, go up to the damn front front desk, hop on the table, and just shit in front of everybody. If that's happening to one of y'all, bro, y'all let me know in the comments, bro, because. Man, I, I don't know what the hell I do. I, shit, do you just sit there and watch them? Or do you sit and run out of the classroom? Or everybody just jump them or what? Because, boy, as a teacher, too, what the hell? Because <laughs> if, if I was a teacher, man, that little kid might be getting body slammed. Because what, what you just went and took a, a shit in front of me for? Come on now. Yep, what's up? Crapped on your desk, Doug. What's up with that? Mr. Jefferson, I wish I could be around you all the time. You're awesome. I think you're awesome too, Cartman. Yeah. 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 Whoa, why they do this man Michael Jackson like that? 
No, no, no. Why they do Michael Jackson like that, bro? Come on now. <laughs> Man, it's so crazy. Bro. Why they did like, They go in there and put him in talking about some yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it, I'm telling you, ain't no, ain't no goddamn um, limitations for this show. Everything, everything goes, man. Every single thing out there, bro. Every you, you allowed to do anything on here, man. It's no, uh, we doing this because we don't want to get hurt. People feelings with this or anything. Everything is is let go and shit. You can say or do whatever on this show, man. I'm telling you, bro. But once again, thank y'all for helping me hit eight thousand subscribers and roll to eight point one now. I thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, that's going to close out the video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some videos to react to. And it's LA Rich. Don't get up out of here. All right, y'all.